Hey y'all, let me tell you a little story about technology. It hates me. All right, so in the month of March, I started recording our meals on uh, the beginning of March. I actually think it was the last day of February. And it's not so much about how I'm cooking the food or what I'm, so much about what I'm putting together as how much I'm spending on the meals, on the food. So just showing you how I go about buying our groceries, putting our meals together, pay close attention to how much of each ingredient I use so I'm not, you know, using too much, using too little, everybody gets their bellies full. Um, so let's see, our kids eat breakfast and lunch at school. It's it comes with the school year this year. Usually we have to pay, but something to do with the pandemic last year and this year we didn't have to pay for their breakfast or lunch. So they eat breakfast and lunch at school. And when we go out to eat, it is, it comes from our, what we call our second job savings. Justin and I both carry two jobs and the second job is meant for fun money. It goes straight into savings. And when we go out to eat, go out of town, something like that, that's where that money comes from. But so because technology hates me, I had to shorten my video down, get my video down. Anyway, I'm learning guys. I promise I'm learning. So I hope you still enjoy this and uh, just maybe if, if you're just not here to learn anything, you just want to enjoy the cooking, the food, whatever, thank you so much. But if you're here to learn something, don't be intimidated. Um, these meals can all be made very cheap. You just have to pay really close attention to how you're spending your money. And that's what I do. And you guys will just learn through the month of probably go halfway through April, I think, because like you're seeing my March video, like toward the end of March. But anyway, thank you. Enjoy. Hey y'all. It's Monday. We are having, some people call it lazy lasagna. You can call it ravioli. You can call it, you call it whatever you want to. Just don't call it late. So nobody's hungry. So nobody's starving. So I'm just going to, I've got some burger over here that I just cooked in the Instant Pot. And I'm going to put the ravioli in the pan with some of this spaghetti sauce on here. I'm going to use half of this block of cheese and then we'll have corn on the side. Okay. So we're going to have, remember how I said, you may have watched it. Um, bread is always a great filler item to fill your baby's bellies up. So, um, I was going to use butter and some garlic. I was going to melt the butter in, some, in a pan and put some of this garlic in it. But then I found this in the fridge, which I think would be so much better on some garlic bread for Justin and Emmy. So we're going to have the ravioli pasta with corn on the side and then a couple pieces of garlic bread for them to help fill up their tummies. I'm going to have this gluten-free cauliflower linguine pasta that I got for free on my Ibotta. We got our cauliflower pasta cooked for the three minutes. I'm gonna add my sauce. I'm gonna start by stirring that up in there and then see if I need to maybe rinse, rinse my can and put some more in here. I'm gonna get some of our hamburger and add to it again. Here's Emmy and I's plates. And there are there is plenty more in the pan left for Justin and Emmy to have seconds. I'm super excited to try these cauliflower noodles and this is a very affordable meal for us. On this Tuesday, it was a bright sunny day, so we took the dogs for a walk down to the river and Emmy just couldn't wait. She just had to get some part of her body into the water. <laughs> hey y'all. Happy Tuesday. We are, today is my husband and I's wedding anniversary. So we are making some of these cold water lobster tails for supper. I don't know, I've never cooked this before. We're experimenting here y'all. Experiment in the Instant Pot. That's what I do best. So 
I'm going to try to cook the lobster with some potatoes in the Instant Pot. These are all the seasonings I'm going to use. I kind of looked up like a Cajun seasoning kind of thing. So I've got, I'm going to put some of this garlic in there. I'm going to put some butter. I've got garlic powder, onion powder, oregano, paprika, some crushed red pepper, some black pepper, and then some salt. And for what we have, we, I like to have something cold. Our family likes to have something cold with every meal. So I'm going to make some gluten-free pasta salad here. I've just got some gluten-free noodles with, I'm going to cut up some carrots real fine. And then just a little bit of frozen peas. Not much at all of the peas and carrots. So, I mean, you know, just enough to make a nice little salad. Okay. So I did watch a video and looked up some recipes, of course, trying to prepare. So some people like, or I seen a girl, she cut them like this. So with a knife, I, I was going to try to use scissors. Oh, there we go. That's working. So she said she did this because I don't even know how to eat these guys. <laughs> I just wanted to try them. So she said she does this and then she opens it up to make sure there's nothing in there that you don't want to, you don't want in there. I reckon there's nothing in there that I don't want in there. Meat. That's what I want in there, right? Okay, there's one. So I'm gonna cut them and then I'm gonna wash them out. I don't know how far back. I mean, I, I guess you just come on your back. I don't know got any um, lobster tail tips for me, leave them in the comments. All right, I'm gonna rinse these out like she did. Okay, I got these rinsed, I may have screwed up. I don't know. When I was rinsing, I kind of pulled this too, too much, but it looks like, I think that's what I would want to do, right? And, all right. So I got some water going over here for the pasta salad. So I got my Instant Pot and when Justin bought my Instant Pot for me, he bought me this little accessory set and it came with this trivet thingy. Like people call it a trivet, I don't know what you call it. But it also came with this doohickey. I don't know what it's for, but I use it to like, maybe you, I, I thought maybe you were supposed to put an egg on it when you're gonna cook eggs in the Instant Pot. But uh, I put it in there, you know, to elevate, elevate stuff sometimes. Okay, so what should we do? We should, I'm gonna put these in the bottom, right on this trivet. Ooh, I don't know what side you put up or down. I guess it'll cook, cook either way, won't it? Oh wait, are you supposed to like, make it a little more open? I don't know. Shadow. Dog's barking. Somebody's here. Okay, I do know that when I cut that, some of the shell is like coming off. So I want to make sure we don't eat none of that. I'm going to rinse that off again. Just in case. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put water in over these because I don't want to like dump the water on them and then mess with the seasonings, right? I need a cup. Let's do, there's a cup of water. Do another cup. A cup-ish. It's not a measuring cup, but it's a cup, cup-ish. Okay, let's do two cup-ish. Two cup-ish. I think I should maybe put my seasonings like in a bowl, kind of mix them together. Well, let's go with the butter first. Let me squirrel here for a minute. How much butter do you use, guys? I don't know. the butter for? Just for flavor? Welcome to Days We Experiment with Danny. Okay, 
So let's just uh, do a little of this. How much garlic? That much? We like a lot of garlic. That much? Sure. All right, now, let's just use this same spoon. What do we do this? I'm just gonna sprinkle it on the top. There we go. Put a little butter down in there. How about that? Don't make me sneeze. Okay. Whew. I'm gonna sneeze. Okay, now this. Can y'all see this? I'm just gonna sit right on top. Now it will rest on top, it looks like. Put that trivet in there, it puts those up just tall enough that it's gonna have to rest on it. Let's right, see. What? All right, see, it's kind of resting on it. Anyway, it'll be fine. So I got this little steamer basket that also came with the instant pot accessories. It's got some handles here. Oh, get my wires crossed y'all. I'm gonna put that right on top. Like I said, we're experimenting. If I had some broccoli, I would put some broccoli in here, but I don't. I, got, I might have some frozen, but it would just be like the, uh, not the florets, the little stems. So I'm just gonna cut these potatoes in half and put them right here. They don't have to be in water because there's water in the bottom and there's already enough liquid in the potato. You're pretty much just steaming it, making like a baked potato. Now, Emmy doesn't like shrimp, so I would say she might not like this. So, uh, She's probably gonna have leftovers, but I'm gonna put her a potato in here. Okay, that looks like enough. What was that, three? That was three potatoes, so I don't need this fourth one, I don't think. So, eh, let's put a little salt on the taters. Boil our blood a little bit. What else should we put on the taters? A little pepper on the outside. Okay. So, let's put this in the Instant Pot. How long should we cook it? Let's see. We're not wet on the bottom. We're going in. Got my little lid right here that I just rinsed out and made sure it was good and clean. We've already got our water in there. We put it in there with the lobster. So the, um, this cold water lobster tail instructions. So it says salt, stove top, steamer basket, one inch above the boiling water. We don't have that, we have it in there, but I think it'll be all right. So it says five to seven minutes. And I know that when I make potato salad, I put them in there for like six minutes. So mm, let's go with five minutes. If the potato needs longer, we can figure that problem out when we get there. So five minutes, lobster, potatoes, got the pasta salad cooking over here. In the spirit of experimenting, let's try this little thingy and see if it will shred my carrots or do something to them. Probably not, but we're gonna try. Okay, just got a handful on here. How many should I put in this, babe? Right. I'm gonna push too hard, but oh look at that! Oh my gosh! Oh, it's perfect. Except I need like a bowl, not a, not a. Here we go. Hang on. Maybe it'll catch them. 
Check it out. I'm psyched by the little things in life. Is your room clean? Mm -hmm. Yes, you can open that. Oh my goodness! Cheese grater turned oatmeal grater turned carrot shredder. I'm sure it was already supposed to be a multi-tool, but now it's my multi-tool and I'm using it as a multi-tool. Okay, how are we doing? Okay, now we got this pile. Look at that! Just take this baby apart. Got some in here we have to kind of shred off there. Oh, here, let's pull these out without cutting our fingers. How about that? I don't like to waste food at all. Just don't cut your finger. Okay, that'll do. Look at that! As I spill it on the counter. I'm so excited! Okay, I did a quick release. And these are the only tongs I've got that aren't in the dishwasher right now or in the camper. So, uh, and I ain't going out there to get them out of the camper. So that's what I'm gonna use. Quick release. Watch out for the steam. Oh. So, a couple of the videos I watched said that you want to take your lobster out and put them in an ice bath. So, I'm going to take my taters out. Oh, they're so pretty! And I'm going to put my potatoes in this little pan right here for now. Just going to let them be. I know, right? Those are so pretty. Here, I'll show you guys before I move them. I'm sure you guys know what it looks like, but... They're so pretty! Get in my belly! Okay. Doesn't that look cool? They were black, now they're red. Yep. Well, I'll call them all. Okay, I'm gonna pick them up and put them in the, in the ice bath, I guess. I guess so it, will, it won't overcook the meat. Well, I feel like I'm losing a lot of my seasoning if I do that. But I'm gonna do what they say. To the pasta salad. Okay, this is a better angle. I'm learn still learning the angles. This might y'all might be able to see better. I don't know. Let me know if you can see better. So we got the noodles and the peas done. Here's our carrots that I'm so proud of. Put our carrots in here. All right, so I'm going to use this classic Caesar dressing from Aldi that is gluten-free. You just put however much on there you're, you want for your little heart to desire. Oh, now my glass is on. Two tablespoons, 110 calories. Well, I done put four, 400 calories on there. Ah, be fine. All right, and of course, let's put some seasoning on there. Why not? Oh, I'm used to you guys being up here. Shoot, you're down here. Okay, this is the dressing I use. Can you see that now? Oh, my lanta. Don't worry. I'm gonna get it right, y'all. Actually, probably not. I'll probably just be like this the whole time. But it'll be fine. Okay, now when my peas and my noodles were done, I also put them kind of in an ice bath. Get them good and cold. Gonna mix that up real good. I think that's plenty of dressing. Now, I'm going to put this in the fridge, let it sit for a little bit while we get the rest of the stuff ready. I'm not really sure what to do with the lobster now, but I'm gonna figure it out. All right, into the fridge. We did our, our Instant Pot. I'm shaking y'all up. Sorry. We did our Instant Pot. Your ice bath. Now what do you do? 
So I, I would say at a restaurant, they come out looking like this, right? Because they're all pretty. But we ain't at a restaurant. We're at the house and I'm starving. All right. Now, how do you get all this meat out of here? Oh, 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 something's happening. Some shale. What are you supposed to do with the shale? Oh, oh wait! This is peeling easier now. This is coming off. Maybe I'm doing it wrong. Maybe I should have looked up what do you do with the, sh the not shrimp, the lobster after it's cooked. I didn't look up that part. Are you supposed to pull off the legs? Emmy, you want to eat the legs? Ew, no. Oh, well. Can't say I didn't offer. Smells bad enough. Yep. Emmy doesn't like the smell. Okay, here we go. Oh, wait, there's... Am I supposed to... I don't have no idea what I'm doing. Hmm. That's just what I see then. Okay, so this one doesn't look like that. Okay. Are you supposed to peel this red stuff off right here? What do you got? Oh, you just opened up one of her LOL toys. So Y'all, I'm probably destroying this right now. Well, anyway. You probably won't even be able to eat it. <laughs> um, I feel like Justin and I are going to be hungry. I'm just saying. Two is not enough, one per person. That's tiny. That's why seafood is so expensive. You spend a hundred bucks and you don't even get full. You got to go home and eat whenever you get back to your camp or cut your condo. You can just have a club soda whenever you're done, too. That might be what I have to have. Okay, now, I put some of that minced garlic in this bowl, and I put, you know, melted some butter with it. I'm going to pour that right over the top of said lobster. Okay, maybe. Just smother it. Can't go wrong with garlic and butter, can you? I'm gonna put some of that on my um, my uh, potato too. Here is our anniversary dinner. We went fancy. The lobster. The very small lobster. I feel like we're gonna have cereal later. Just say it. Don't you think we're gonna have cereal later? Breakfast for yeah. dinner. <laughs> anyway, this was fun. This was interesting. I've never done that before. So I thought it was pretty interesting. So Emmy is having leftovers with a side of math. <laughs> and that's dinner for Tuesday. Everybody know lobster, and you just want to go out on a whim and give it her a try. Give her a try. We did. Emmy does not like it. She didn't like the smell of it before it cooked. She didn't like the smell of it after it cooked. It smelled fabulous when I was done cooking. I did still smell it before. <laughs> okay, moving on. Next time, I, next time I'm on here, y'all will see me cooking uh, Wednesday. We'll figure out what we're having for supper on Wednesday. church it's 8 18 so we didn't have supper before church because i was busy so i'm gonna see how fast i can put supper together this is the burger that i cooked earlier in the week whenever i cooked a couple pounds in the instant pot i'm just gonna toss it in the microwave i'm gonna shred some cheese we got some taco shells a bunch of different kinds of salsa y'all know salsa salsa is a staple in my house 
This is habanero. I'm gonna smother mine in this. So we're just gonna have us some quick tacos for supper. Here's our dinner. Emmy wanted hers nacho style, so that's what she's getting. We usually call this taco in a bowl, but this ain't in a bowl, so I guess we'll just call it nacho style. And there's plenty of meat left over, I'll show y'all. We've got quite a bit of cheese left, and enough meat to have another three or four tacos out of. So it doesn't look like much, but when all, if y'all go to Taco Bell, if you like Taco Bell or Mexican restaurants or whatever, when you order a taco next time, just pay attention to that taco and see how much meat and cheese and stuff they actually put on it. it it's not much. It's really like the, the shell that really fills you up. So, But anyway, pay attention to it. This is enough for us to come back for some leftovers, and then we've got a bunch of broken taco shells. The ones in the middle might not be broken. But if they are, ah, we'll just break them up and use them as chips. It's Friday and we went and did our first grocery haul for the month of March. I thought I would share it with you. We went to Aldi and our total was $56.22. That's including tax. So we got us some chips, some bread. Here's some produce. This is some, we got some lettuce, bananas, cabbage, cauliflower. I'm gonna make some cauliflower salad. This is usually, we make cauliflower salad a lot in the spring and summer and it's um, a family favorite of Emmy, Justin, and Gunner. So we got some different onions and then a couple blocks of cheese. We got some pizza snacks. I work out of town overnights on Thursday nights. So Justin usually has pizza with the kids from the little country store down the road. We live in the middle of nowhere. Um, from the little country store down the road. And we've been, I, we cut our grocery budget in half. So I said, he said that he'd like to have these pizza snacks. So that's what we're, they're going to do on Thursdays. And, of course, they'll have a little something else with it. But, anyway, two gallons of milk at a time every two weeks is what we buy. We do have half a gallon left in the fridge this time, which is rare. But I got some more hash browns. Gunner said that he loved that hash brown casserole that I made. Or, is that what, is that what it's called? Yeah. Yeah, hash brown casserole. Anyway, he said he loved it and he asked me to make more. So, I went ahead and got some more hash browns. These pieces right here, these were $2.49. Two, just a second. Let me look at this receipt right here. Rising, rising crust pizza. They were only two seventy nine. I have never seen these at our Aldi before, so I picked them up um, because they were, you know, so cheap. It's like I don't know, eleven dollars or something for a pizza down the road. So I thought I'm gonna get these for them to try, and uh, they want this one tonight. So they're gonna have some. We're gonna have games and pizza tonight. So Amy wants pizza snacks, and the boys are gonna have some of this rising crust four cheese pizza, and then they'll have this one for Thursday. So. We'll let y'all know if they like those or not. We got us some veggies, some sour cream and cottage cheese. We haven't had Smokies in a while. And they, these have gone up in price. They used to be like a, like 79 cents and then like a buck. And now they're two, they went up to 250. Now they're up to 289, which we all know grocery pr prices are raising. So um, anyway, pretty good size packs. So what we'll do is, uh, yeah, I know. So, good. so we like to put these, smother them in barbecue sauce and serve them with mashed potatoes or we uh, fry them up like with scrambled eggs, use them in our breakfast or sometimes if I'm in a hurry, I'll just throw some in a bowl and take to work with me and just heat them up in the microwave and they're really good heated up. So that's what we got. And then I got some broccoli florets. I'm really hoping this is the florets and there's not a bunch of like stems in there. Might mix it with some rice or something. Anyway, I wanted the florets. And but that's our grocery haul. Oh, sorry, I tripped over the dog. What do you want to tell me? Can I tell you guys why I don't want the pizza? Because Aunt TT brought you pizza last night. Yes. And I, I didn't. I, I forget. And you had left. Yeah. So Aunt TT brought her pizza last night because Dad changed oil in her car. Brought her. She brought her car out, and Dad changed her oil. So uh, I didn't know she brought pizza until last night. I actually forgot about it, and then. I didn't know she took leftovers for lunch, but she's having pizza snacks tonight, so it'll be fine. That's it. Oh, we got, mm, we did get some ice cream too. Hang on, let's see. 
I got the kids some ice cream sandwiches, which I put in the freezer right when we got home. So they were, I went to Walgreens and did some couponing <laughs> after we went to the Aldi and uh, the ice cream was getting a little soft. So I put it back in the freezer. Anyway, there's that. Amy's got the munchies. So she's munching on her chips left over from lunch. Yummy. Yummy. All right, let's cook this pizza right here. show y'all how thick this crust came out. It came out really good for a frozen pizza. They really loved it. And here's my Friday night supper. Everybody had pizza and then I got the munchies. So I heated up, or actually sauteed up this coleslaw. They were out of cabbage at the store a week before. So Justin got me some coleslaw. about 10 o'clock at night we just got home we left the house really early this morning went out of town to a pick and pull salvage yard to get some parts for some jeeps justin's working on so we got home late we didn't have to go out to eat but i didn't think the kids wanted to wait till 10 o'clock at night to eat so anyway um we're having dinner at church tomorrow after church it's the first sunday of the month and i'm actually off this time and i'm very excited so we'll get to do some visiting and stuff, but in the meantime, I'm gonna put this tenderloin on to cook all night in the crock pot and be ready to take to church with us in the morning. So all I've done is I thawed a deer tenderloin this morning. And I've got, I'm gonna put a pack of onion soup mix. I'm gonna mix this all in a bowl. I think I've done this before I'm on, on my channel, but I can't recall because I've done, I've done my food on Snapchat for so long. I'm not sure what I've done and what I haven't done on YouTube. But anyway, if you've seen it already, it's fine. You can see it again. So, Onion soup mix with a pack of brown gravy and cream of mushroom soup. I'm going to mix all that together. The brown gravy, I will mix a can full of water in with it because this calls for some water and that'll kind of make it more pourable, porridgeable, pourable. All right, gonna use some nature seasons and probably some garlic powder. There's a lot of seasoning in this onion soup mix, so I won't need you know, too much. But anyway, that's what we're gonna do. y'all in the morning I turned around and was like oh yeah I was gonna make that so it's 10.05 that's how long it took me it was like 9.58 when I started that when I was started putting together that tenderloin over there in the crock pot so it's 10.05 now and I was trying to think ahead this morning I thought oh I'll take out some stew meat or some frying meat or whatever kind of deer meat I had in the freezer to thaw with that tenderloin and in the morning, I'm going, I'm going to fry it up right now. And in the morning, I'm going to put it all together with some carrots and potatoes and stuff in the crock pot to make like a deer stew to be cooking all day while we're at church. And we're going to have dinner at church and then we'll have supper in the evening, but it'll already be done. So when we, when we come home from church, we don't have to worry about nothing. You know, we just kind of relax the day away or cut firewood or whatever we're going to do. So I'm going to let this get good and hot. And then I'm just going to dump some deer meat in there and fry away. see I'm gonna let this sit overnight these bigger pieces I'll cut up into little chunks and then we will put them in the crock pot to cook all day tomorrow while we're at church and you know going about our day good morning 
folks. This is cooked for eight hours and now it's got two and a half hours left on the warm setting. This is the first time I've taken the lid off. It looks a little dry on the top, but that's okay. That's just because the liquid hasn't been on it, so you just can break it apart and turn it over. Okay, here's what we've got to put this deer stew together. This is the deer meat that we cooked last night. I just put the paper towel and everything in here in this bowl while I was ready to go to bed. It was really late. Um, we've got like two partial bags, like what's just like a quarter, a little less than half. Two partial bags of carrots that we're gonna put in there, one onion, the rest of the potatoes that we had left, a bell pepper, and then we've got some seasonings. And I've got some beef broth cooking over here on the stove and then a little tomato sauce. You can use tomato soup if you want to, but I'm going to try to keep this as gluten-free as I can. Maybe. Maybe not. Who knows? It is about six o'clock in the evening. This, look at all that steam. This is looking good. Mm-hmm. It's okay that it's not thick. It's gonna be fabulous. There's our dinner. Justin and Paul are outside in the shop, so I've just made some for me and the kids right now. We're gonna sit here and let it cool for a little bit while they're playing, and then we're gonna chow down. Sunday evening right here. <laughs> 